Welcome to my channel. Today we're reviewing the Dr. Prager's Purely Sensible Foods Mushroom Risotto Veggie Burger. It's roasted portobello combined with Arab barrio rice, peas, and truffle oil to create a mushroom masterpiece. I have reviewed, you need to subscribe to my channel. I have reviewed, if you've clicked on this, is because you're interested in, in veggie burgers and probably vegan food and probably Dr. Prager's. I reviewed a lot of Dr. Prager's and I'm determined to review every single item that Dr. Prager's makes. So please not only just forget, don't forget to subscribe, but hit the bell icon. It's a little icon, it's a bell, click on that. So you'll be alerted and notified when I come out with more content, which is I'm gonna have a lot of content. Also don't forget to look back because I've already reviewed a lot of veggie burgers, not just Dr. Prager's and a lot of Dr. Prager's products. But right now, we're viewing this. So, um, I went ahead and put this in the air fryer today. I smell, I smell risot, risot, risotto. I haven't had risotto a lot, but I've had a few times. Oh, I smell wild rice and mushrooms, like a wild rice mushroom pilaf. Shall we open it? We shall. How's everyone doing today? Look, I see corn. All right, on the inside is really nice and moist. The outside is crispy, which it should be. I've had really good experiences with Dr. Prager's. I'm not saying everything is amazing from them. That's why you gotta check out my videos. Some are better than the others. And even though there's rice, you know, a lot of times veggie burgers just fall apart. And the non-vegan ones, a lot of times they use eggs to hold it together as a binder. This is vegan. You can actually see the wild rice. I wish it was more wild rice. But it's a risotto, and this should make a wild rice and herb veggie patty. Mmm, it's so crispy. I definitely recommend air frying this. I, I didn't thaw this off in the microwave first. Normally, I thaw things off in the microwave first lightly. I don't cook them from frozen. And then I put them in a skillet. Today I literally just threw it in the air fryer. I didn't even preheat the air fryer. I just threw it in the air fryer on 400 degrees, frozen, and kept checking on it until it browned up really crispy on the outside. Mmm. Shoot, I love the way it's turned out. I'm going to buy this again and I'm going to cook it exactly like this. I'm going to try his kale burger. There is a van in front of the what is going on oh they stopped for the EMS safe light repair safe light something something safe light whatever that is um yeah so it's crispy moist on the inside it has a burial rice water cooked brown rice button mushrooms Button mushrooms, again, expeller pressed canola oil. I've told you before, that's really good oil. Expeller press. Potato flakes, peas, carrots, onions, cooked wild rice, kale, then finely roasted portobello mushrooms, celery, which I'm not crazy about celery, roasted garlic, arrowroot powder. I guess that's the binder, which I think that's better than like all the other stuff that they could be using, like cornstarch. Sea salt, spices, brown rice flour, Truffle oil is last, and it's olive oil with truffle flavor. I'm really sensitive to truffle oil. Mmm. I just bit into like a crispy, wild rice tasting, earthy mushroom. Yeah, these are not my favorite. I've had, believe it or not, 
I've had veggie burgers from this one that I like better. How much is like hash browns? Yeah. It's so delightful to have that crispy, but still be moist in the center and it's not falling apart. And this is the, the package. I mean, I would agree. It would probably go good with ro roasted tomatoes. So I guess tomatoes, roasted bell peppers, definitely sauteed onions. Like caramelized, really sweet, slow, slow cooked. I tell you what's really good is um, sauteing mushrooms in beer. Mm. So good. Well, they call this a bistro burger. I don't know. What what is a bistro burger? What does that mean? Can someone leave a comment below the video and tell me what this bistro burger or bistro patty means? I never did like figure that out. I'm not gonna give these a ten. They're good. I would get them again. I wouldn't buy them often, often, but I would buy them again, and they're good. But I'm comparing it to the other veggie burgers I've had from Dr. Prager's. And it doesn't taste like a meat substitute, which every once in a while a meat substitute, like high protein, soy, wheat gluten, pea protein, whatever, beyond meat, impossible type. You know, it's fine when it comes to, you know, plant-based burgers, but sometimes you just want something that doesn't taste like meat and it has its own flavor. And this is really hearty too because of the mushrooms. Um... I think this would be good, like, possibly in something other than bread and a burger, only because this has a lot of mushrooms and that's carbs, and bread is carbs. I just don't know what. Maybe someone can leave a comment below and help the other people on ideas that that person has to, like, put this in other s stuff, you know? Um, Because that's the only thing that I see not a major issue with, but, you know... Again, carbs, bread, and rice. Do you really want bread and rice together? Um, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this a solid 8.6. Uh, 8.7. Uh, yeah. No, 8.6. Yeah. I give this an 8.6 out of 10. I will definitely buy it again. I'm not going to buy it often, but I will definitely buy it again. And... Um, it's story free, six, six types of veggies, 130 calories. Until next time, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what foods you want me to try. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted when I come out with new content. All right. Bye-bye.